Hey guys, it's Ray at ourvoiceoverguy.com with a quick tutorial. Just had a request from one of our members uh, over at Radio Daddy about adding a watermark. So I figured just doing a quick spot here, uh, I would uh, go ahead and show you uh, how easy that is, some of the things you should look for. Uh, and I guess it depends on why you're using it. So um, here's a track that we just did um, just a second ago uh, for Relax Nation. So it sounds something like this. Welcome to Relax Nation, bringing you music that's slow and easy on your ears. So say this was for a client and we were um, wanted to give them a quick sample of what it would sound like, um, but they haven't made payment yet, we'd want to make a watermark. Um, so you can do that by a, a couple different ways. It's, it's pretty simple. You can generate sounds. Um, you can go into a track here and, and place the watermark. Uh, now what is a watermark? Uh, watermark is anything uh, that kind of messes up the uh, the usage of the sound uh, in whole. So when you mix this down um, it's the underlying uh, underlying noise. It could be uh, you saying your name uh, over and over again. Uh, it could be just a general tone um, if you will. Uh, it could be a number of things here. So um, we can do that really quick. Okay, one of the things you can do, um, one of the items created by uh, Bruce at Sound Lizard uh, was this quick watermark. Uh, we can put this on here and I'll let you hear what that sounds like real fast. Radio Daddy. Whoops. Radio Daddy. Radio Daddy. Now, that can be something that you just splice in every once in a while. Um, it could be uh, just a number of things. Here's another way to do it. Um, take your file here, uh, click on the beginning. If you go to Generate, Tones, or Noise, um, let's just say Noise. You got pink, brown, and white. Pick the intensity, um, how loud it's going to be. Um, this all depends on you. And you can play around with this a little bit so you can tell exactly what this sounds like. Um, I'll give you an idea what this is. Duration, let's just say it's uh, uh, five, five seconds. That yeah, will do 10 and we'll just keep it through the, and we'll do it at the beginning at the end. So there it is. Here's what it sounds like. You're going to get excited about this. Here we go. All right, that was it. Want to hear it again? So this is going to be just the underlying noise that goes on kind of the bottom or the underneath of your voiceover. Now you have to be careful because if you just put this in like this, um, folks that are savvy at removing noise will be able to highlight any of this piece, go into their uh, noise reduction and remove most of this. So you can play around with it a little bit. Um, you can uh, take some of this stuff up, play around with it a little bit. Anything like that. And then to go into the voiceover piece. Radio Daddy. And then if you wanted to, at the end, you could add um, a tone. Here's another version of what you can do. Different tones here, uh, depending on what you're looking to do. Um, right here, I'll show you, give you a preview. That's one option there. So that's what that looks like. So you got the Radio Daddy piece. Radio Daddy. And that's about as annoying as all get up. So you can do the same thing here. Um, by highlighting this, you can actually take this down and reduce the, uh, the sound so it's not as ear piercing. It can be just something like that. So, do I suggest you do all three of these? Um, your, no, your noise here. Your audio watermark here. Radio Daddy. And your tone here. Usually what you'll see is the tone piece here. But again, you have to be careful how you do it because... 
um, people that are savvy enough uh, can remove that, especially if there is no sounds, um, audio, uh, the voiceover, what have you, that's in that range. Um, it, it, they'll be able to pull most of it out. It's still going to sound kind of robotic, but um, that's three quick options uh, for you to uh, do over. So let's just stick with one and see what it sounds like, right? Um, let's take out the, the noise here. And let's just go with the Radio Daddy piece. Um, and I'll, here, I'll, I'll show you how we do this. Just take the tone. There we go. We like the tone, so we're going to place it in here. And um, you can copy this, copy and paste it, however you want to do it. Um, let's just say you're going to move it here. And in the beginning, you're going to put some of the Radio Daddy um, piece. Where is it at? All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to put in the tone watermark underneath here, and we'll go ahead and place the Radio Daddy audio here. And we'll do the same thing over here at the end, um, just for fun. Now we can take this down a little bit. It doesn't have to be super loud. You want it just to be in the background so it's annoying enough um, so the client can hear the audio uh, completely uh, without being able to boost it, if you will. So let's see how this sounds. Radio Daddy. Welcome to Relax Nation. Bringing you music that's slow and easy on your ears. Radio Daddy. So the Radio Daddy's a little hot. Um, I actually go down in here and just uh, you know, quiet these up uh, to a whisper um, real quick. You can see to make sure. Radio Daddy. So it's just kind of in the background and just annoying enough. Again, I might even take this down just a little bit too. Um, doesn't need to be too loud. Radio Welcome to Relax Nation. So that's it. And then you go into your uh, your final export. And just let's call it uh, Watermark Test. And we're going to save this as uh, MP3. Click on save. Once it does the mix down quickly, you'll be able to hear the finished product with the watermark in there. Radio Daddy. Welcome to Relax Nation. Bringing you music that's slow and easy on your ears. Radio Daddy. And there you go. Real quick and pretty easy. Um, again, I showed you three options of how to do that. Um, take your pick and go from there. Hope it was helpful and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Take care.